Hey YouTube, I'm back. So what you're looking at here are heads for my motor that I'm rebuilding. Um, these I got for 150 bucks. They're all ready to go. They were rebuilt. Um, I'm sure they were pressure tested and all that. They're a 416 casting. They're 58, 58, 58, and 59 cc chambers that I measured with a piece of acrylic. I actually measured the other head. I didn't do this one yet. Um, you can see it's got the 1.82 or 1.84 valves in it, and it's got some shrouding or unshrouding of the valves here. It's like them probably done at the factory. Probably had an issue with, uh, you know, performance or something on the heads as as they were um, being cast. These are ready to go. Uh, they go putting them on. The original heads that came off the motor. They also um, CC'd at 58 CC. And um, I'd have to get these machined and I'd have to get valve seals and you know all the all the work done to it. And I'm probably looking at like four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. And I just don't think it's worth it to do. Um, these have a smaller intake valve, they have the same size exhaust valve. They have a better shaped chamber, in my opinion. Um, these are, I think, called Power Pack 520 heads. This is like an original, a little bit of an upgrade on some motors back in the day. Um, but nothing exciting, of course. Uh, so, the only real issue I have right now is, um, is gasket matching. So this is a 305 head, and I have a, uh, a board over 283. So, and I don't think they took much off of this because I'm still uh, CCing at 58, and that's what they're listed at being 58. And these are 416 heads. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already, but I'm trying to figure out if my if a standard small block Chevy gasket would actually be a detriment to this whole setup because that those gaskets that come with those kits, I believe they're good for like. A board over 350. So I'm thinking about getting a different gasket, one that's closer to match the 283, but yet will, well, it'll obviously still be a big enough hole for the 305 side on the heads, but it'll give me a little bit better of a squish area. Because if I use a big gasket, I'm losing on the edges here. And then, especially over here, there's even more metal between the gasket, and I just don't think that would be the right way. So I would have to go at least with a thinner gasket and then a gasket that is probably a smaller bore than the standard gaskets that come in the kits. Um, that's, that's really what I'm going to make my decision here, is what I'm going to do for gaskets. Um, probably going to stick with these since they're already done, it saves me a few hundred dollars. And it's got the little, it's got the holes on both sides for like accessories and whatnot. But um, yeah, that's it. So we're looking at two heads, a 520 and a 416. These are all ready to go. And I just CC'd them. They're 58, 58, 58, 59. I haven't done the other one yet, but I'll be doing that one next. Okay, that's it. Have a good day.